Welcome to the Waterloo School Student News Expo Edition. I'm Nolasco Desiderio. And I'm Jessica Caltweet. So many of the Waterloo School's teachers are role models, not just for students, but for new teachers as well. Let's meet up with one of these model teachers at Cunningham Elementary. Mrs. Vogel is one of those special, unique individuals who puts her heart into everything she does when she's in the building. This year, she served as one of our model classroom teachers so that her expertise extends beyond just the students in her classroom. Model classroom teachers exhibit excellence in the delivery of instruction. They're able to create that place where the science of teaching meets the art of teaching. Ms. Vogel has taken me along with the rest of our teammates under her wing. I'm just trying to soak it all in. Regardless of what she does, she's a leader. She can have one of her worst days, she can have one of her best days, and you couldn't tell the difference. When we come to Cunningham, we're a star, and she's that star. She was very concerned and caring enough to say, if you need anything on your journey, come back to me, let me know. Anything I needed help with, whether it was on a Sunday afternoon or a Saturday evening, she's been there for me. She always has the answers. Um, she's just, she's a great person. There was sharing her knowledge to everybody you know, we have so many new teachers and she's made an amazing impact on them. Michaela was one of her students and now she's again one of her students in a different way. You know, Michaela and Jody have learned so much from, from Ms. Vogel. It, it's been outstanding. She's kind of the glue of the grade levels that, she, that she's been on. And her classes, time and again, are always probably the best behaved. She's very patient with her kids. She's stern, but she's fair and they love her. And I really love her. She is really a good teacher. I hate to see her leave. Dedicated to her students, teachers, the community. There's a whole lot of them. Nice, thankful, kind, giving. An A plus attitude. Fun. Caring. Smart. Generous. What I think about Ms. Fogel is that she's really caring because she treats us like her own kids. She's helpful. Persistent. She is trustworthy, caring, calm, A plus attitude. What I think of Mrs. Vogel is magnificent. Irreplaceable. Cornerstone. Dedicated. Confidence. Amazing. Nice. Respectful to others. Great. The best. Grateful. Awesome. In a word, irreplaceable. We will miss you. The Expo Print Shop continues to turn out quality work and professional training. Let's go inside. We have a number of students that really have extended themselves, that want to learn how to print shirts, how to do the graphics on the computer, how to shoot the photos, and, and certain students that want to do the whole nine yards. So we have students that throughout the day will come down and join me. If we're in the middle of a large production run of hundreds of garments or even just setting up the press for two or three shirts, they'll help me and then actually once we start the printing process, they'll just take it over and just go for the rest of the day. One thing that we've done is really extended to uh, have the students create more layouts more um, of the marketing tools like brochures and order forms. And we'll do a design on a garment, but then the student will then see how that design looks on a green shirt or a black shirt or a yellow shirt and then offer the client three or four different selections. We're working on a larger selection of different kinds of shirts. This year we printed on Under Armour kind of garments. That was for the Battle of Waterloo. We had never printed on those before. We're using more specialized glitter inks and fancy or specialized printing processes. And that was all student driven. They wanted to try the new stuff. They really enjoy seeing the whole process from just sketching something to putting it on the computer system and drawing it out in, in Illustrator or Photoshop or InDesign and then actually seeing it made. And actually I've had some students tell me that they, that they thought it was really cool that they've seen their designs out in the public. We have quantitatively had more garments to do and had more orders and in more colors. So instead of just doing a one color shirt, we'll do a two or three color inks on a shirt. And then also that allows the students to do more marketing, meaning that they would have to do more order forms and posters and brochures and whatnot. Basically, it's interacting with the students, having them improve their skills and then going above and beyond. And that in turn challenges me to go above and beyond. Math in elementary schools is not what it used to be. Check out these pointer students using paper airplanes as a way to study algorithms. You are going to give your algorithm to someone else at
at your table, and I'm going to give you a piece of paper, and you are going to follow the steps on their algorithm. So if their first step is to crumple the piece of paper up, you have to crumple the piece of paper up as the first step. They're really just learning now what algorithms are and that there's steps that have to be taken. A lot of times they don't realize when they turn on their apps or their computers that there are lots of steps going on in the background behind it and so they're learning about how there are all those steps. They've done a couple of introductory activities on it now on how they need to think about the steps that are being done, how they need to communicate those steps in different ways, and now they'll start communicating it through the computer using a program called Blockly. I've learned that you have to be really careful what steps you put together, because if you don't put them together right, the ending won't work out. You can't just tell a computer to make an airplane. You, you have to like put in the steps, and the steps are very important, because if you want to make it right or make what you're trying to make, then you're gonna have to follow the steps. I want you to think about how you would change this algorithm to tell somebody else how to make it. And I want them to realize too that it's not just in the computer world that they are doing algorithms, but there's steps and programs that are kind of occurring all around them too. So they really have that foundation of what it is and it's not just clicking on a computer. The problem with coding and for a lot of our students is that they see it as only a boys kind of thing and so by starting them younger they can see that it's for girls and for everybody and a lot of times kids kind of get the defeated attitude when they get older that they can't do something whereas when they start now this young, I've even got my kindergartners started on it, they can see that they can do it and they can understand computers and computer science and it will just help them as they carry through to um, really understand computers better. Some Expo students have turned their lives around thanks to good choices and hard work. I'm going to UNI and I'm going to study forensic science. After I graduate, I plan on going to Hawkeye for two years and pursue a career in art. Being a social worker or doing something with psychology, I want to help kids out like my age, help out teenagers who have problems. I had to go get some help myself and I just feel like it would be really cool if I could help other kids. I've been wanting to become a lawyer ever since I was little. I got a lot of opportunities here at Expo, like the news crew, because it helped me to um, also learn about other things that weren't more like art. And I also like being behind the scenes and in front too, it was interesting. Working at the print shop gave me a unique experience here at Expo. The only reason I really actually came to school when I started here was because I knew my teachers would help me with anything I needed. Help me get to the place that I'm at right now so I can graduate and plus they offer that forensic science class. Has prepared me to just be out there and be ready for it and take the challenge. Even if I have bad days I can always rely on my teachers. And since it's pretty much the same teachers every year you get really get to know the teachers after four years. I came here and I was just more focused on um, as a student and I got more help and I just got really close to my teachers and they helped me through everything. A lot of the teachers like they just push you along like they're there for you. They give you one-on-one -on -one time if you need it. Being able to get my diploma is going to help me get better jobs, go to college, make something of myself. Getting a diploma will definitely help me uh, to further my education and get a better paying job in the future and to learn a lot of new things and experience new things. It's important to get my diploma because I can go off to college and then eventually get a better paying job. Thank you for helping me graduate. Yeah, they really are the reason I'm going to graduate. I am a graduate. I'm a graduate. I'm a graduate. I'm a graduate. I am a graduate. I'm a graduate. I'm Nolasco Desiderio. And I'm Harrison Maroon. Now we're going to interview our senior crew member, Jessica Cultwee. Hello, Jessica. Welcome. Hi. <laughs> Thank you for taking your time to be here. So, uh, what are your plans after graduation? I plan to go to UNI in the fall. And study what? Uh, I want to be a forensic science technician. Interesting. That's a lot of words to say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, what have you enjoyed most about high school? Um, I've enjoyed like making new connections and just being able to express myself through classes. What did you like best being on the student news crew? I liked uh, being with my friends and being able to see what actual people do in real life. So it's pretty fun. Hmm. Any advice for young people out there? Well, once you hit high school, don't slack off and don't skip school because honestly it hurts you in the long run. Had to learn from experience. Mm -hmm. But just like be yourself and have fun. So. Thank you so, for your time, Jessica. No problem. Now, this is our last episode for Student News Crew's Expo Edition. We'll see you guys.
Bye.